Well, you know, it can actually save you thousands of dollars over the lifespan of the vehicle, up to $15,000 over a 15 year period you can save in, in, ga in, in gas money. And you can use that money, you know, to invest it or to save it and put into your children's college fund. And I can tell you this, EV owners right now are really laughing, to the, uh, laughing all the way to the bank and those who drive them, love them. My photographer Marlon and I asked the question. You ever going back? The gas? No. It's pretty amazing, I love it. I'll never go back to a gas car. If it's a choice between driving the EV or driving the internal combustion engine, I'm fine with my EV right now. EV owners are charging up by the kilowatt hour. You can either do a normal charge or a supercharge. The national average cost of charging EV, according to the Department of Energy's National Renewable Energy Laboratory, is anywhere from 8 to 27 cents per kilowatt hour, with an average of about 15 cents. Right now, it's better on your wallet. Saving these drivers anywhere from 3000 to 10000 plus dollars a year in fuel costs costs. But what's in store for the future of charging? Will it become more expensive? Steve Levine of the online publication The Electric explains. When electric cars are more ubiquitous, what's going to happen is charging points are going to start charging a lot for fast charge. It's the folks selling fast charge, they will charge the same thing that you would have paid if you filled up with gasoline. Darren McCleskey has driven his Tesla all over the country and most recently to Florida and back and he says he hasn't run into any speed bumps. A lot of times you can fill up overnight at home really cheaply um, and then this is a legacy car, an older one, so I have free supercharging on top of it. Fred Maiklin says he is already seeing a savings since owning his Tesla for over a year. Saving an awful lot of money, especially right now, but even before that, calculating the numbers before I got my Tesla, I was looking between $200 and $300 a month. And we got to take a ride in Michael Palazzolo's Mustang Mach-E around his neighborhood. He charges at home or while out at a charging station, and he says he has no problems with the car. I like how it picks up. Uh, it feels like a rocket ship when you're gunning it down a freeway, and I like how it handles. It handles beautifully. It's literally like driving on a cloud. And, you know, there, Steve Levine did say this, though, that we could be seeing a EV shortage, and that's because of the raw materials that Russia has and the nickel, along with the sanctions that the U.S. has put onto Russia. And he says the average cost right now for an EV is around sixty-four dollars to $65,000 a lot of money for an average person just to go out and spend that. But he says in the next uh, half decade or full decade, he says the EVs are going to start dropping in prices to a point where they do become more affordable for the general public. Reporting at Southfield, I'm Peter Maxwell, 7 Action News.